Hi, it's Shed Edge again, and I know you've all liked my other videos, so today I'm creating a new video. Today I'll be solving problem 3. Let's start out by reading the problem. The prime factors of 13,195 are 5, 7, 13, and 29. What is the largest prime factor of the number? This number. It's way too long to say. So, we're going to be finding the prime factors. Let's find out how. Here I have my Eclipse IDE. And we're going to be creating a recursive method to find out the prime factors. Let's, uh, let me explain you how by giving an example. Let's start out with 132. One thirty. So we're going to look for prime factors between 2 and the number square root. We're looking until the number square root because numbers factors are like pairs. The two numbers multiplied together equal to the number. Always, one of the numbers is less than uh, the square root of the number, and the other is greater than the square root. You'll never find two numbers that are greater than the square root of the number. So we only need to look until the square root. 132 square root is going to be between 11 and 12. Because 11 square is 121 and 12 square is 144. So let's look at the numbers 2 through 11. The, uh, is 132 divisible by 2? Yes! So 132 equals to 2 times 66. And now we're going to carry 66 over and find the, prime f uh, find the prime factors of 66. 66 equals 2. And in here, we're going to be looking at uh, the square root of 66 is going to be between 8 and 9. 8, is, uh, eight square is 64, 9 square is 81. So we're going to be, uh, so it's going to be 2 through 8. Is it divisible by 2? Yes. 2 times 33. Now let's do for 33. The square root of 33 is going to be between 5 and 6. So let's, we'll look until 5. Is it divisible by 2? No. Is it divisible by 3? Yes. 3 times 11. And now 11. 11 is going to be, we're going to be looking at uh, the numbers between 3 and 4. Three square, uh, the square root is actually three uh, between 3 and 4 because the square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16. So we're going to only be actually looking at the numbers 2 and 3. Is it divisible by 2? No. Is it divisible by 3? No. We're done looking at the numbers. Why isn't it divisible by any of those numbers? Because it's prime. 11 is a pr prime number. So, now we found out that 132's factors, factors of 132 equals to 2, 3, 3, and 11. Let's get started in making our method. I'm going to create a method factors, which is going to take a number, <coughs> and this, number's, this number is pretty long, so num is going to be of type long. And we know that this method is also going to be recursive, so it's going to be of type list of long okay so 
we're gonna ha uh, we're gonna be first finding if there's a factor that's between two and num's square root. So we're gonna do val exists equals to, and now we're gonna be creating a range. It's gonna be two two math dot square root square root of num and these two numbers are going to be long so we're going to have 2l and this dot 2 long and now we're going to take this range and we're going to do dot find and find takes a condition n2 n wait uh num modulo n equals to 0 and there's a trick see how we have only one parameter and we're only using it once so instead of using n to n we can just do num modulo underscore And now we're going to run a match on exists. So exists match. And we're going to have case. And exists and the find returns an option. Option can be type sum or none. And sum is basically going to be the answer wrapped in a sum. So we're going to do case sum with D, so we're going to extract that number. We're going to have D followed by the factors of factors of num divided by D. And Let's say if if there is no factor, case none, we're going to return a list with the num, because that means that the num is going to be prime. And we're done. It was that simple. What's this error? Oh. The reason why we're having an error is because we forgot to put an equal. If we don't put an equal, what is the answer? We have to put an equal to say that this is going to be the answer. Let's try it out. Run it. So we're going to do println factors of 132. Let's run Euler 3. And we get 22311. Yay! Let's go back to this. Let's try thir uh, 13,195. Five, seven, thirteen, and twenty nine. Now let's do the final big, humongous, horrible number. But see how it's saying integer number too large? That's because you have to put an L, because it's a long number. Yay! So now all we have to do is find the max of all these numbers.
we got our answer, 6,857. Thank you.